Iron Man's technology, the arc reactor made real. In this video, you will know how it works and how you can also make one of yours. Hello friends, welcome to Webcats. I'm Inventor Sumit and today I've got something cool for you. The real Iron Man's arc reactor technology. You might be wondering if you can also become Iron Man. Now the day is not so far when you can also have powers like a real Iron Man. With arc reactor technology, this is possible. The secret lies in core fusion. You might have heard Tony Stark using the words like palladium core, energy loop, plasma. So in WebCAC's lab, we have constructed a real core fusion reactor. Before watching the video further, I would like you to subscribe this channel and please like this video. So here, this is my core fusion reactor that I made in our WaveGax lab and uh, this is powered by Vantigrad. This is the core reactor. It's of another reactor, not mine. And uh, this is plasma formation. Here you can see the plasma burst. One, two, three. And it goes like... This is phase one of plasma formation. And now the phase two of plasma formation. And this is the final phase of plasma formation. You can see the inner mechanism of working of cold fusion or the arc reactor. A voltage is applied across two electrodes immersed in an electrolytic solution of heavy water and lithium salts. This stabilizes a flow of current from a strip of palladium acting as cathode and several platinum coils acting as anode. Temperature sensors measure the temperature of electrolyte solution with the Sail as well as cooling water surrounded in a larger jacket container. Within the solution, many deuterium oxide or heavy water molecules dissociated into OD- and D+ ions. When voltage is applied to the electrodes, the OD- ions are attracted to positively charged platinum anodes where they lose an electron and combine with other OD ions to reform back into D2O while the remaining oxygen atoms combine from O2 which escapes as gas. Meanwhile, the D plus ions are attracted to the negatively charged palladium cathode. While they quickly find an electron at the surface of the cathode to neutralize the charge, this cathode is made of palladium atoms arranged in face-centered cubic lattice. Deuterium atoms find their way into the lattice by popping through the interatomic sites within the lattice. Other deuterium atoms pump into each other along the surface of palladium cathode and form a D2 molecule. These molecules are too big to enter the lattice. This D2 molecules clusters to form bubbles rising up through electrolytic solution. Simultaneously, new D2 molecules are dissociated into electrolyte into more OD- and D plus ions, so the process continues. However, when the super wave principle is used to vary the current to pattern of rising and falling nested oscillations, the loading of deuterium atoms within the palladium lattice is enhanced and so is the fluxing of deuterium atoms in and out of the cathode as the concentration of deuterium in the lattice across the cathode surface increases. The deuterium starts to get deeper and deeper into the lattice popping into neighboring interatomic sites. The deuterium occupies more of these interior sites. The lattice dimensions increases a bit and the lattice expansion causes mechanical stress in the cathode that opposes resistance of deuterium to fusion that requires high currents to pulse more and more deuterium atoms until it reaches saturation. When the concentration of deuterium within the lattice increases, in time they begin to move more collectively as fishes forward and backward as you can see in the video. At this point, pairs of deuterium atoms begin to disappear, fusing together to form helium-4 isotope. A significant amount of heat is released in this fusion process. This energy released by each helium atom 
that appears is 24 million electron volt is decimated by the lattice, passing heat, rising the temperature of palladium electrode and the surrounding electrolytic solution. The amount of energy is so big that it is around 5 million times greater than the energy released by combination of same type of deuterium, of deuterium atoms and it is around 10 million times larger than the formation of deuterium and uh, deuterium oxide by combination of deuterium and oxygen atoms. Yes. Guys, these are real heroes of cold fusion, Andrea Rossi and Sergio Fogati. You can call them Iron Man's. So guys, now you know the secret behind Iron Man's real arc reactor technology. Now you can start making your own prototype by using your own brain and your own designs. But there is a challenge. The real cold fuseners have not yet disclosed the exact ratio of palladium deuterium they used and uh, they have not yet disclosed the catalyst they used. So you gotta find it by yourself. And uh, once you do that, you will win a Nobel Prize and you will become Iron Man. So my future Iron Man, please subscribe to our channel Webcax. Please like and share. Thank you for watching Webcax, the Tech Pioneer. We will always be bringing amazing videos for you. Keep yourself updated. Please subscribe. Thank you. Vande Matram. Jai Hind.